I'm Tiffany Michelle here with the new 888 Poker Ambassador Samantha Abernathy. Now, I know you've been an ambassador for a little bit, but this is like your first official 888 tournament stop where you're officially an ambassador. Yes, this is my first official ambassador stop. <laughs> We're in London. Where did you, I know that you travel internationally a ton. Where did you pop over from? I actually came from Barcelona this trip because I was there for, I was in Andorra for the XL series on 888 Poker. So I just stayed and then I came over. And I have so many questions to ask you. Like, I've been around, we've like hung around, been the same place, but it's like so many Sam Abernathy questions. Actually, first of all, do you prefer Samantha or Sam? Um, I introduce myself as both. It just kind of depends on the day. All right, so you're not going to be mad at me if I post on social, like, with my girl Sam. No, 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 I like Sam. Okay. <laughs> um, Samantha, when I, when I heard that you, that 888 signed you as an ambassador, obviously in this day and age of poker, especially if you primarily, like, reside in the U.S., sponsorships are so limited. Were you surprised? That feels super valuable. Was it kind of always the goal to, like, ultimately sign with the site? Yeah, you know, I didn't really think that it was possible just there the opportunities aren't really there in the u.s so when when it was offered to me i was so excited did you feel like when 888 wanted to sign you did you feel like okay this is probably like a good marketing ploy for them because i'm an attractive girl like i have a good instagram following or did you feel like no you know what like i've done the work my poker game's like legit what what are your thoughts between like being signed as an attractive woman and whether or not you have the resume, which might be something some people say. Yeah, you know, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you can't control who you are, but obviously it helps. And um, I have put a lot of work into my game, so I'm proud of how far I've come, and I'm really proud to be in this role. Did you feel like, for you personally, do you feel like signing with a site adds legitimacy to like your poker career and your game? For sure, I think. Um, naturally it just kind of makes you feel like you've put in the work you've gotten this far and now this is the fruit of that anyone who follows you on instagram um which is so fun because you're like beautiful but you also have this like crazy weird interesting like lifestyle and hobbies what percentage of your life is poker these days and what percentage is like all like exterior interests yeah that's a good question i think during covid the percentage of my life that poker was was much lower you know there was no live games um and so i started playing online now i would say it's more 40 percent 40 percent poker 40 percent poker what's yeah. the 60 percent living my life <laughs> Which is like, like best week for Samantha Aberne Abernathy. Like, what are you doing? Are you traveling? Are you with friends? Like, specifically, what's like the best week for you? The best week for me is doing a lot of trampoline. I love trampoline. <laughs> um, yeah, being active, exploring, being with friends, family, that kind of thing. What's the what's the weirdest thing? Because it's like I scroll your Instagram, I scroll your Instagram, and it's like she can't be like this can't be real. Like it feels like so many things are photo sh like photo op type things, but it's like no, you're actually doing this stuff. Like I've seen the videos of you doing crazy like Cirque du Soleil trampoline stuff. What um, what's like the weirdest actual like activity or exploration type thing that you've adventured into? The weirdest, I mean, probably trampoline. Trampoline is very weird i mean especially tramp wall it's a small community there's probably less than 50 people in the world that do it so that's when you like jump on the trampoline and then like run up walls kind of like parkour style yes how do you okay but if you're traveling for poker 40 percent of the time <laughs> where do you find these tramp wall things yeah that's a good question well i wasn't really traveling during covid so that gave me an opportunity to train with cirque du soleil performers that were out of jobs so during COVID, I had like a really unique opportunity to train with those people. Do you foresee for your future, like, is poker always going to be a big part or 40 percent? Um, or do you eventually think like, is this a phase of your life that poker is involved in? But like eventually like, no, I would like I would actually love to be in a Cirque show. Or is there something else that's like the goal in life? I definitely have other goals, but poker will always be a part of my life. I think um, it's not just a phase, and if it was, I think I would be done with this phase already, you know? And lastly, I, I like, enjoy chatting with you. I don't know how long we've been chatting for, but I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying it, like getting in, in depth with, with Samantha, like more than just your IG. Um, what are you looking forward to? It's so exciting that live poker is back, and I know 888 has events coming up this year. Of the 888, 
tournament stops that you've known of in the past, like Sochi and Bucharest and Barcelona and London and Vegas? What um, what destination are you? Would you be most excited to go play? I'm really hoping the Madrid stop comes back because I've never been, okay. and um, I would love to go. I know the food is amazing. I love Spain, so I really want to go to Madrid. One last thing, I notice that you laugh. A lot like when I ask you questions or when I come up and take like social videos of you you are a very like laughy smiley person and pessimistically sometimes I'm like how can that be real like are you just always happy or is like laughing kind of like a nervous thing probably a mixture of both yeah but, like what percentage of the time are you like I'm just trying to get like a read on Sam Abernathy what percentage of the time are you do you say like I'm a pretty happy person like this percent of the time I mean, I try to see life in a positive lens, um, but yeah, sometimes I laugh nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I wish I, I'm just, I wish I could just start being a laughing person. No, I mean, I, I think generally I try and be pretty positive. <laughs> I hope, I hope asking that wasn't like weird. It was weird. <laughs> Well, we're just <laughs> candid and honest. This is Samantha Abernathy. Thanks for chatting with me. Loved it. I love you the more I get to know you. Follow Samantha on Instagram. What's your handle? Uh, Sam Abernathy with two Y's. You won't be disappointed. I'm Tiffany Michelle. This is Poker News, and we are at the 888 Poker Live London weekend. See you next time. Mm -hmm.